story every parent needs to hear. A nine-year-old walks away from a Spartanburg school saying he was touched inappropriately by a classmate. And yeah, no one realizes that it's him for more than an hour as he runs more than a mile and then hops into a car with a stranger. Fortunately for his parents and the school, that driver took him right to his family. The people who know nine-year-old Amari English best say he's as gentle as they come. The last person you'd think would just walk out of school. I ran out of the school hoping and praying that I'll reach there safely, and I did. This fourth grader says a classmate at Westview Elementary in Spartanburg was touching him inappropriately, and he says he felt his concerns were dismissed by his teacher. I was just telling myself that if she won't handle it, I will. And I don't think no one else would have believed me, so I knew someone who would, which was grandma. English said that he made it a mile and a half down the road with a few drivers calling out to him, but it wasn't until he reached the Rock Springs area that a driver pulled over, offered him a ride, which he decided to accept. I love you. When English arrived at his grandma's and his mother Dee found out, she learned the school knew a child was missing because drivers had called but didn't know who it was. And so then it's trying to thank God. It's an anger like, what? Because y'all supposed to be watching my child. When I drop him off, y'all y'all responsible for him. Westview principal Dr. Lindy Metcalf says English has every right to be upset. When people hear about this story, they're going to wonder, how could you let a kid just walk out of the building? What do you want to say to that? We, the child at that point, we knew within a minute, um, he asked to go to the restroom, and there was a level of independence that we also try to teach our children to make good choices. Um, and at this point, he left the building, and within immediately being notified, we were able to go start that search for him. Metcalf says while doors can't be locked from the inside because of fire code, the school will look to change its policy when classes go to related arts since it was that transition that led to English's teacher not realizing he was missing. English's mom hopes his teacher is held accountable. She's also talked to her son about safety and hopes to save other families from experiencing the same ordeal. There's some has to be done because this could be happening somewhere else. No, so things have to be Done. Yeah, Tom, I think any parent who hears that story, that, that, that feeling of fear, you, yeah, can, you can definitely sure. sense. And I should note, the school does have cameras at all of the doors and a resource, resource officer who responded mm -hmm. immediately when that first call came in. So thank goodness for that stranger, that uh, motorist who picked up yeah. Amari and gave him the ride home. What do we know about her and what's next for this little boy? Well, uh, I, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, Amari's mom really wants that stranger to come forward because she wants to thank her so much. The only thing we know of her is that her name apparently was Miss Kim. So uh, hopefully that person will come forward so that her, his mom can thank her. As for Amari, uh, the principal has uh, been kind enough to switch him into a different class mm -hmm. by their request. And so, um, you know, hopefully he can transition into that new classroom. Well, well, there are still good Samaritans out there and we're certainly glad for that. Yeah.